the case here. Uh, Carlos, of course, will have his full forecast coming up later in the newscast. New at 6, we have some exciting news about the food bank contest. We've been encouraging you to vote in all month. Second Harvest of Southern Wisconsin is the proud recipient of a $45,000 grant from Walmart. Madeline Anderson was at one of their distribution sites today in Madison. She joins us now with more on what the organization is planning to do with the money. Second Harvest was up against around 120 other food banks from all around the country. And get this, it finished sixth. And that means an extra 135,000 meals for people in need. Once a month, the Second Harvest Mobile Food Pantry rolls up at 755 Braxton Place. We got enough bananas to put it in one. David Sticka sorts and hands out food to the more than 100 nearby residents who need help putting food on the table. In the produce section where I take most of my volunteer work to, I'm going to find out that most people, they have no idea what an avocado is. But he too has fallen on hard times because of a disability. Three years ago, David says he was homeless. It's not something I want to go back to. Although he now has a roof over his head, David still struggles to get by on food stamps alone, especially with a son to also feed. He relies on programs like these. And thanks to the Walmart grant, David and other families won't have to worry about being turned away. We'll feed a lot of people, and it's really, it's really great. And nearly half of the people fed through these mobile pantries are kids. You know, that's one of the things that uh, people don't fully realize is that a lot of kids who are struggling with food, during the school year, they actually have the school there who can provide free and reduced meals. Well, when you come into summer, that, that source of nutrition goes away. With all of the $45,000 going toward these trucks, that's tens of thousands of hungry children who will benefit. This will be an excellent addition, an excellent boost to the mobile pantry program during these summer months. And Second Harvest expects its 30 trucks will need to deliver more than 3.5 million pounds of food this year. So as you can see, every little bit of help like this grant is much appreciated. That is great news. Thank you, Madeline. Well, a Wisconsin tradition canceled. Coming up on NBC 15 News at 6, see which air show is ending because of the sequester.